In the past, we've covered how we set up payment terms for customers and vendors. With cash flow forecast management, we can set up cash flow payment terms. This is a field that is also available on customer and vendor cards. Um, if we go to a customer card, we'll have a quick look. We'll just open any old customer that we have here. And under the payments tab, I'll just make this a bit smaller, we'll need to click show more to see the field. And we can see our cash flow payment terms code is available here. And from here, we can select from a number of payment terms, and that will be used within our cash flow forecasting. The last area of setup for cash flow is the cash flow setup page. And we can get to the cash flow setup page just by searching for it in the search for pay page. On this page, there are a few conditions that we can set. The first is our automatic update frequency field. Here we can specify the frequency with which we'll update the cash flow forecast. This also updates the accountant role center, which holds a chart for cash flow forecast. Our options available here are never, daily, and weekly. Under the accounts tab, we can specify what accounts will be used for entries in their respective areas. So you can see we've set up in this demo company receivables, cash, cash flow account numbers, payables, sales orders, etc. Under numbering, we have our cash flow forecast number series where we can designate which number series we'll be using for our cash flow forecasts. Under the VAT tab, we have our taxable period where we can specify how frequently we pay our taxes. Options here are between monthly, quarterly, yearly, and by accounting period. We also have our VAT payment window. Here we set a date formula to have Business Central calculate when a payment for tax should be registered within a tax period. So if we specify 20D, for example, this would tell us that the tax payment should be registered within 20 days of the previous tax period ending. The demo database here has the current month plus one month and seven days. We also have our VAT balancing account type. We can specify what type of balancing account we'll pay our taxes to. The options available here are vendor, GL account, and to leave it blank. In the next field, VAT balancing account number, when the previous field that we just mentioned is set to GL account, this field becomes editable. And it's ready for us to specify which specific account we'll pay our tax to. Our final tab is the Azure AI tab. Here we can set up the connection to Azure AI. The process is simplified when using assisted setup, which is covered in our assisted setup for cash flow forecast unit.